Hi guys and welcome to Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot Channel. I am Marv. Hello. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the Marvelous Tribe, ow, what's good, fam bams? Hello to my YouTube members and my patrons. Guys, as you can hear, my voice is halfway there. So in an effort not to overwork it, I am going to record an intro video for you guys. And then we're going to get to all of the rest of the readings. This is going to be timestamp. You can go ahead if you're not interested in what I have to say because you don't care. You can go ahead and timestamp it and get right to your video. I had to do it like that so I didn't have to riff and do three million of these on top of one another. So... Thank you for all of your prayers, well wishes, text messages, emails. I am not 100%. I feel great, but my voice is not 100%. So I'm going to apologize to you guys in advance <laughs> if you're having any troubles with hearing me, okay? It has been a whole 10 days since I have recorded. And please note that this is the first time since launching my channel back in 2017 that I have been off my channel voice and face. So I am like, I'm extremely grateful, but it was very scary. It was strange and scary that I, but, but in that time frame, guys, I want you to know that I was able to recon reconnect spiritually, um, rest and allow my spirit guys to lead me into what I, what I, you know, where I had to go and what I, for what to do what I had to do. Um, I got a lot of messages from you guys saying that my throat chakra was this and my throat chakra was that. I appreciate it because when you are putting yourself on a platform, you are subjected to opinions and that's fine. I just want you to know though that if you know anything about Marv, I am a workaholic. So to those sister client friends that knew me, that know me personally, that I have been spiritually advising for three, four years. So the entire time that I have been doing this professionally, they all said the exact same thing. You just needed rest. I have been going nonstop I, since I started. So with Venus being in retro and with other things that happen, personally, professionally and spiritually, I had a rough uh, fourth quarter 2021. Happy New Year, by the way. So with that being said, <clears throat> I was able to reconnect spiritually um, because I didn't have a choice. I did not have a choice, guys. Um, so my spirit guides led me to what I needed to do. Thank you for your patience in your understanding, and my tribe pulled me through. That's why I put that message out there, pleading with you guys to pray because mass prayer will do it. You'll be amazed. I am much better. It still goes in and out, but I think that, you know, I'm prayed up, I'm vitamined up, I've gotten rest. I've actually probably lost about five pounds. Um, you probably can't tell with the hair but I feel like I have. And it's just been um, a lot of rest, rejuvenation, relaxation, so forth and so on. I'm locked and loaded. I've gotten a ton of spiritual downloads and there's a lot going on this month. As you know, we getting into it. We're going to get right into it. I have meditated on how I'm going to bring the message, but I think that it's only fair or who's going to go first because I know that we're competitive on my channel but for this first run of videos please put your competitive nature to the side tribe and just listen to the messages because they're not going to be extended I'm not voting I'm not going to have you guys do any voting I am giving you the real and the raw one video at a time and we're going to get her done we have a lot to contend with and I have a lot to do. 
the only thing I wanted to do was focus on what these people that love you are not telling you at the top of this year. I am going to be doing a lot of many things, many little reads here and there. A couple of days ago, I told you guys that I've been doing some things on Twitter. Twitter is really going to be my focus, if you didn't know. Um, Instagram is, I'm, I'm pretty active over there, but not the way that I want, not the way that I used to be. But Twitter is my focus. I want you guys to go over there. If you're watching this, go follow me over there. You got two of three cards in a three-card pool for the top of the year. Beautiful. And I'm going to pull the third card and add it. As I told you on the community tab, when you find your sun, moon, and rising, click to show this thread so it can give you the entire message. Twitter is a little tricky if that's not your thing and not your jam, but Twitter has an amazing spiritual following. And I want to tap into more ways of reaching people. So some of you guys, especially my Libras, already follow me over there. Go and do that. Um, so again, thank you for your patience, your understanding, and all of the prayers from my tribe for pulling me through. Follow me on Twitter. Watch for big things over there. Go follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me over there. My focus is going to be other this for this quarter, especially other um, social media platforms that I have all of them, but just making sure that I tap into those followers um, because I do. I have people over there. Don't let followers and views deter you guys from looking at content. That just means that that many people watch, but it doesn't diminish the quality and my my viewers know that, okay? So don't we, we're not shallow over here on this channel. So don't let the, I don't know, 400 and something followers on Twitter throw you off. <laughs> because honestly, I look at the, the launch. I've lo I launched Twitter, I want to say, back in 2013. And it's just, I never really liked the formatting. But obviously, I'm growing, okay? In closing, there's going to be some really good things coming up. I'm not going to bore you with all of those things. Now you're going to see incremental changes. Some things I had um, promised again, uh, promised for in 2021, but I didn't get, get an opportunity to launch those things because I was literally on my behind. And um, so I wanted to thank you guys for your patience. You're going to see this at the top of every one of these videos. Therefore, I did not have to riff and say 12 different things again to, to 12 different Zodiacs and their followers and, you know, their cross watchers. And last but not least, I think I cut myself off earlier. We're going to start with Libra. Why? Because the only thing that I was able to get up in the second half of the month of December 2021 was Capricorn and Taurus. It's not a conspiracy theory. I couldn't talk. Literally, it was hard to talk. There was no voice. My singing voice is still gone. No, there's nothing wrong with my throat, by the way. So I think I'm just going to take it that this was time. I've already explained that for me to just, it was time, wipe out. So I'm going to start with Libra again because Libra was the third video and got cut off. I've been thinking about this and I think that it's best for me to start in the same order that I ended. Once I'm done with all of the videos, and I will do Libra first, then I'll go back Capricorn Taurus and then do the rest of them. I just feel like Libra got a bad rap because they were so close to being first. So that's where I'm going to start, okay? After this, we will resume our voting. This is what I'm doing. Thank you guys, and I will see you in your video. Thank you for your prayers again and your patience. Bye, guys. Hi, 
Hi guys, welcome to your January 2022. Hey Capricorn, this is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading. First half for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much. Everything has been explained in the intro video. Don't make me talk too much. You dig? Hey Caps, you just been getting yeah, the, the brakes beat off you, huh? We have, huh? Yeah, I know. If you're new here with me, I am Marv, not Mark. You know, I know I got a, a bit of a raspy voice right now. I've explained all of that, but I get some folks in the comment that be like, hey, Mark. Who the hell is Mark? <laughs> Marv, honey. You guys gave me that name. You gave me that name. So pronounce it right. M oh, something wants to come out. M A R. Uh oh. M-A-R-V-E, short for Marvelous. My sister client friends refer to me as Oh Marvelous One. And that is not a stroke to my ego. It's because of the message that is delivered. Um, a long story about how my name derived. It wasn't because I was sitting in the mirror and admiring how beautiful I am. So, hello Capricorn. How are you guys feeling? Let me tell you. Um... <clears throat> You are uh, hitting it right now. Like you are like hitting it at all cylinders. Like you, and the beautiful thing about it, happy new moon. Did you set intentions last night? I certainly did. Capricorn moon is here. Listen, um, you are getting hit at all cylinders and you are hitting all cylinders. But here's the thing. You feel absolutely nothing. I know you don't. Um, let me tell you what's beautiful about the beginning of the year. Um, we got beat up so bad. Um, and I know the sons did, you know, I'm a, I'm a moon. I know that the sons did the, my, my beautiful cap sons, um, you know, misunderstood, <laughs> but you guys got beat up so bad. And let me stop moonlighting and do what we got to do. Cause I got to go and pick up my brat. You guys already know Brett one, Brett two. They will be busting up in my in, in my jam in a minute. I don't want you know. I don't want no noise. Let me talk to you for a second. If I talk my stuff, um, Capricorn, you are setting forth all of the goals that only you know how to do. Okay, only you know how to do. You feel absolutely nothing. Get out or lay down is your motto. You're not thinking about anything, anybody. And it's funny because the card that just popped out shows me exactly that. Caps, I already know you listening to my voice and you diagnosing me because you are a Capricorn. Marv, don't do this. Marv, don't do that. I know it, honey. Um, And I'm just like you, okay? We are cut from the same cloth. So, you know, if you tell me not to... Okay. If you tell me not to work, I'm I'm still going to do it anyway. So let's just let's stop playing with each other, Caps, and let's keep it moving. I missed you guys. Oh, I can really be myself with you because only you understand. We're leading this reading with a struggle. What your person isn't telling you, we going old school, no clarifications, me, you, the cards, and I'm riffing. And I'm talking about all insight, everything that I'm feeling. We're going to start it out with a bang. I've been telling everybody that there was a new moon, full moon in Gemini, that act just like the way a Mercury retrograde would. When Mercury or Mercurial type things come to the surface, it'll act the same way. What you shouldn't do, how you should expect delays, what you shouldn't say. Things bubbling to the surface. All of that shit happen, right? If it didn't do it in the form of a physical argument, you definitely came into this ear. This ear. Can I talk? It's bad enough. I'm having some issues. You came into this year cutting it off. Typically, and I don't want, don't quote me on this caps. Typically, it seems like it is a little later in the month, typically like the ninth or the 10th from my recollection. And maybe that's wrong of when the new moon actually hits. 
Um, we did not have any full moons in Cancer last year, which is your opposite energy because we had two the previous year. Remember that? Um, so there was no full moons. Typically, we end with a full moon in Cancer, and we begin with a full with a new moon in Capricorn. There's all this. This happens all the time. Never in my recollection is the third that I remember that it happened so quick. Like, boom, Capricorn, let's go. Your person is having a, a problem. You guys are struggling. This is the seven of wands. There's a lot of defensive energy. There's a lot of you did this, I did this. There's a lot of justifications for what this person has done. And as far as you're concerned, I don't think they really know. And I really, I really said that I was going to try very hard to only talk about their feelings. But you know, I can't do that because what you guys don't understand is, is that not all I hear, but not only that, I can you look at a card and tell how a person feels just by one card. I just been doing it for so long. Um, And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. So just let me do my thing, okay? Um, you don't care. <laughs> and I really don't mean to sound arrogant when I say that, Caps. But you came into this year already. And I, I know I did the past couple of days. And even when that full moon in Gemini took place. And if you were in tune and doing your affirmations and doing your things, you are powerful manifestors. You already started to see the fruits of some of your labor, your laboriousness come out before this year even pops. You just waiting. Your person knows this. You don't care. You're not interested. They're struggling with it, justifying their actions. You don't care. Let's put that down. What popped out? The Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving night. There were some things that this person didn't do. They want to take their time and play these games with you. Let me rephrase. They want to take their time because this is the slowest moving night in the day. Things they got to learn. Things that they have to come into. Things that they have to wrap their head around. Problems with relinquishing their control. They need me. You have said how you feel. You have justified what you what what you're feeling. You don't care. You are completely cut off. I have a Capricorn moon. My other placements, my my rising is also affected by Venus. My seventh house is affected by Venus. Venus is in retro. New moon in Capricorn. If you guys are like me. I can't sing Beyonce, I ain't thinking about you, but insert the I ain't thinking about you, Beyonce, I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't sorry. Mm -mm, no, like you just, whatever didn't get learned, whatever didn't get integrated, you're at peace with it. Okay, let's go ahead and reveal their heart place. It's been a struggle. They're not lying. They're, they're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you anything about that because they're holding this ground out. You guys are exactly, we're leading with this. So this is on their mind. Such a struggle dealing with you. All the things that you hear when stereo, stereotypical Capricorn, you're mean, you're hard to deal with, all this shit, right? You learned your lesson. Very popular card. We talked about a little bit about this Jack in the Taurus video. Right now, they want to cut. They want to talk. They want to cuss you out. That's on their heart. They're not over it. They're struggling, though, and they hate to be struggling. You appear not to care. You really don't care, but not that way because you have an, a, a, an ability to focus on the pinnacle you're often misunderstood as if you don't care there are some zodiac signs that don't care you're not one of them 
But people don't understand what, what, what I would like to convey at the top of this beautiful year is that when you have decided that there is nothing left to talk about, you simply pack your box, stick it on the shelf, and keep moving. You're not the type of collective that's going to go over and over and over about things. You are open, you are upfront, and you said what you had to say. Judging by the way they got a jack of spades in their heart or a knight of swords, they want to cut because they're hurt. Um, there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of movement with these jacks that's here. Uh-oh. They want a new beginning. They don't know how to reach you for that new beginning. They don't quite know, this is the fool, how to start over. They cannot pussyfoot their, their way around this one, Cap. No can do. They know when they come, they got to come with it. How do they elevate from this jack to the, to the, to the king? How do they elevate? from this knight of swords to the king. They're carrying the energy of this cutting, bad talking energy forward. They're bringing the energy of, of in the movement of carrying that pinnacle forward. I do what I do when I feel like doing it. But what they're not telling you is that they're really afraid. They're looking at things with the glass half full, empty, all of the beautiful things of that the fool brings forward. Here's the thing with the fool. He is a fool. Because he does not realize. Or she does not realize. What exactly is in front of them. Give me a sec. And that's the problem. They don't realize what's in front of them. The fool is also a fool. And they've messed around and lost you for good because they're too busy fighting you. I feel competition. The beginning. You realize that this is taking the foolish path, pursuing the pipe dream, taking a crazy chance, trusting your heart's desire. If you guys are not together, then the path that leads them away from you is the fool's path because they're emotionally immature. They're dizzy. You're dealing with mutable energy. They go where the passion is. They go where it's good. But they realize that that's really not good because they didn't want to grow up and deal with you. Let's face it. You're fathering. All of the knights are here, by the way. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Let me say, they're all about the talk, but they never really quite step up into the king's energy, do they? They talk a gang of crap about what somebody should know, what they should learn, how you should do this. But they're not quite at the king's level, are they? They talk all of this crap, got all of this knowledge, right? Right. Until it's time to step up and step and walk on that knowledge and that truth. And then they fall short. Almost doesn't count. And that's what you told them. They love you. Romantic. Love you. Miss you, right? But they never really step out of that night and go into the king's energy. Because the king of all of these energies would know when to put that sword down, when to offer that pinnacle, and when to offer their heart. They never really could quite do that, right? Right. Top of the deck reveals rebuilding. I got the tools. I can do this. I can rebuild it. 
they're thinking about how to do it with the three of wands. How do I move beyond this foolishness? Why am I stuck at being this knight? I can do the knight comfortably. Why can't I step up into my king or queen? Because they get too caught up in control. Capricorn, you have a way of being fathering. I had to realize this with myself as well. I am the mother and the father of the Zodiac. Capricorn energy is about patterns. We don't like them. And if I'm noticing a pattern that is causing detriment to my life, I'm going to cut it out. And whomever is bringing that energy to me is going to know about it. People don't like that. Sometimes it is just a matter. As my sister client friends, you guys already know I'm talking to the majority of you. Whether, well, you know, this person doesn't know. But, but like I said in the Libra video, when my son said, Ma, can I just be mad about it and know it's stupid? And, you know, like Theo said in the Cosby show, Ma, can I just be mad and not know what I'm mad about? Capricorns, can we just be right? We are right. But people don't want us to be. It is a such thing, unfortunately, as you being too. And this just exists with ignorant people. I got to go. I was in a wedding once. They were teaching everybody how to walk down the aisle to the song. I was the only one, me and my partner, that done it right. The groom decided to stop me and say, Why aren't you doing it the way everybody else doing it? I said, because this is the way you guys said do it. The man looked at me and said, well, everybody else is doing it wrong. Do it wrong with them. I'm not even lying. Some of the encounters and the things that I have dealt with in my life and, and the, the stupid people that I attract to me is just, I, I could write a book and I am actually. So it's really interesting. I've heard, well, that's not what everybody else does. What? society who who are you drawing towards you cap collective that wants to constantly box you in and be like everybody else when you're not this person has the tools but they're just like everybody else <laughs> and they don't want to be different because that's all they know they don't know how to step out of that 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 movement and actually direct they don't know how to step out of peon and be the boss. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Yet, they want to control. When we're looking at the king, the only king that they are the king of in the past is of swords. But this is also the emperor. This person wants to talk a bunch of shit, but they don't use those words to to. to they use their words to defend, to criticize, and to do all of the things that words do in a detrimental manner. They don't want to use those words to do anything that's going to help. And that's unfortunate. They were the emperor. They tried to control you. It didn't work. Somewhere at the end of the year or possibly prior to that, they wrote out a, they let their mouths write out a check that their asses couldn't cash. As a result of that, it looks like there was a power struggle. You are a fathering type of energy. This is the father. This person wants to be the father. They don't, they get caught up in you not, in, in, in them being told what to do. I don't want you to tell me what to do. I don't want you to be like everybody else. No, I want you to be like everybody else. I don't want you to be different. You being different requires me to think differently, to deal with you differently. I don't want to do that. Why do I have to do that? It's like a child. This person desperately wants to meet you where you are, but they're struggling. They're trying to figure out how to come out of the doghouse. The energy of that emperor indicates that they wielded their control and they did it in a way in which was detrimental to this connection. 
What they're not telling you is that they want to try and work on it. What they're not telling you is that they are too ego driven to actually step out of that garbage and just let you be right, which is sad. We're going to get an additional numinous astro card. And they're dealing with seventh house stuff. I love it. They don't know how to relate. People say, haven't you ever been in a relationship before? Being in a relationship means that you have to relate. They don't know how to relate. This is their issue. That's their Achilles heel. They only know how to relate when they're telling you what to do. What? Listen, I know I'm preaching to the choir today. They only know how to be this emperor when this emperor is providing something. They only know how to use those words when they're telling you what to do. They're not going to say, I miss you. They're not going to say, I love you. They're not going to say any of that. They're going to tell you what to do. Why you do this? Why? It's criticism. You guys are in opposition. And opposites need to attract. Relates. Again, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes, co exactly, calls out. They like to show their love by calling out. You guys think that that's crazy. If this person has a fire moon, that's how they show they love you. I'm not even lying. I'm not. Think about your fire friends. Do they bother you, antagonize you? Comment on your clothes. That's how they show their affection. By opposing you. When a person does that, you're sparking something within them that they can't handle. Why aren't you like everybody else, Capricorn? I love it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Cap, this is rough. Okay. They done the work, but they can't quite cross that that in that, that energy into into stepping into their greatness. Why? Because of ego and intimidation, right? Almost doesn't count. And you know that. And you got tired. So you do you you what they say. <laughs> on the on the Let's Read podcast, I noped out of there. You you chuck the deuces. This isn't something that is relational. They don't know how to relate. They don't know how to look at things from the other perspective. They don't know how to be diplomatic. They have been taught and have been seen examples of it going their way. Because anything that stretches them, molds them, and teaches them, or even remotely feels different than that garbage that they're used to, instantly, you are scary now. They don't even know who you are. They're struggling with this. They're struggling. We lead this reading with struggle. They know they got to do something different. The question is, is will they do it? Will they do it? If this is you, this is what you're going through. Readings are open. Please keep in mind, <laughs> my try listen, my clientele is <laughs> going to kill me. Listen, if this is you, book accordingly. Let's talk about the rest of your story. If it resonated just like this, this is fire. This is water. This is earth. All wrapped into one complicated little person. Male or female. If this is you, book accordingly, okay? Readings are open. Don't book a question and say, I watched it. You need a full-blown reading. Because I'm going to answer that question in the Texas. But the question has many layers. A question is three cards. A full-blown reading with me is 11 cards. Always has been. Always. It's basically a full Celtic cross, if you are familiar. I just don't read it that way. I have the energy of 11 cards back at me. That's why I suggest getting it. You don't want three cards to represent your situation. 
Three cards for me is a question, and I don't even need three, but I do that. Is I pull every single card, and I type. I actually like that. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I got to get out of here. Guys, I miss you. The voice is not feeling overworked. It'll come back. I can't sing to you guys. My singing voice is gone. I missed you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Cap.